In this tutorial, we will be summarizing all the asymptotic notations and their significance we have studied so far. So, when we started asymptotic not notations, we discussed that we are concerned about how our running time increases with the input size. Increases with the input size. And we are not talking about lesser input size. We are talking about input size in the limit. Or we can say larger inputs. We can also say that larger inputs that increases without bound. So, we are concerned about these kind of input sizes and the algorithm that we will choose should have less running time. At higher or we can say larger size of input. So, the algorithm that is asymptotically more efficient will be the best choice for larger inputs. Now, if you say running time of an algorithm is big O of n square, we can also say that time complexity of an algorithm is big O of n square, then it means I am talking about the worst case running time of an algorithm. That means it is take it is going to take at most n square time. So, big O notation describes the worst case. If some algorithm has a time complexity or running time big omega of n square that indicates that it is going to take at least n square time and when we say t n equal to theta of n square that means in an average case this algorithm will be going to take this much of this much amount of time in practicality we care about the worst case we don't need to uh, consider much about uh, the best cases because we want to know how much space or time our algorithm will be taking in the worst cases now we will take a few examples to understand how the relation exists between two functions or how this notations apply to two functions. Let us suppose we have function n equal to n square plus n plus 100 and we have another function g n which is equal to n square plus 2 n plus 20 or I can make it 4 n square. So, can I say that f n equal to O g n or f n equal to omega of g n and I will take few more examples so that we can understand it clearly which relation hold at which point. This is a small o. So, let us understand this. When we are talking about big omega, that means this side should be greater or equal to f n. So, here in this case, we can see clearly that here we have n square which is highest degree and uh, similarly here in f n, we have highest degree of n square. 
when we are discussing asymptotic notations we will be neglecting smaller terms or any constants we have in our equations so this means this relation exist or hold but when we are talking about big omega fn should be greater than gn or it should be equal to gn and yes here the condition holds true so this re this relation also exist when we are talking about theta in theta we see if fn equal to big o of gn and fn equal to big omega of gn if these two conditions are true we can say that fn equal to theta of gn and here we have both the two so we will say that this also exists now let us discuss small omega or oh sorry small o for small o gn should be strictly higher value than fn but in this case both are n square so this relation does not hold true if we talk about small or little omega then in that case fn should be strictly larger but here if we see these both are equal so this relation doesn't hold true let us take one or two more example can we say that gn equal to big o of fn if we see these both functions are equal so fn should be either greater than or equal to gn so this hold true can we say gn equal to small o of gn here we can say that gn is n square and we are taking both side same function so that means one of them is uh, never greater than another or strictly greater than another so this relation does not hold but if we talk of top fn equal to big o of fn or fn equal to big omega of fn these relation are always going to hold because fn will always be greater than or equal to fn or fn will always be less than or equal to fn so i think this is enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query you can put it in the comments or write me a mail i will try to revert back and do not forget to sub subscribe my channel if you like my videos thank you so much